So I wanna show you what happened when we wrote the room the other day. It served many purposes for instruction, right? It is formative assessment, right? For me to be able to see who knows what. And actually it was a test for my AP students because these notes had already been given to them. AP African American Studies is so content rich that you cannot go over every document, every speech, every article in class, right? So some of it has to be independent. And since we're preparing them for study post-secondary, let them get their feet wet, right? <laughs> so this just showed me who had maybe read their notes and that was none of them, but they went off the top of their head. So it was pretty good. And it was a springboard for conversation. It showed them that they have to be responsible and uh, pay attention to what they're getting but we talked about black and indigenous relations that was after the trail of tears uh, sometimes there were black people that hid for refuge among the native americans but they were also enslaved by them as well the underground railroad we talked about that not being an absolute uh, actual railroad right but a connection of places um escaping to freedom in the north the maroons they were about that life <laughs> okay they were freedom fighters and they said no we good we got it blacks fighting in the civil war on both sides of the coin right in hopes for freedom immigration these are people that believe that you know what we're good <laughs> and they started looking at places over in the west indies and some places in africa that says you know what we all need to pack our stuff and get up out of here to escape this stuff but anti-immigrationism, there were a group of people that said, up, oh, hold up, uh-uh, we done been through too much, we're good right over here, let's make them give us exactly what we deserve right here, right now. So we talked about some of the events that officially ended uh, legal enslavement, okay? And you have to pay attention to when we talk about enslavement, different, uh, we don't use slavery, right? We talk more about the act as uh, opposed to, we just don't soften it, right? So it's enslavement and they are enslavers, right? Um, don't fall into masters. It, it buys into that whole supremacy ideology, right? So enslavement and enslavers. But 13th, 14th, 15th Amendment, we have the Dred Scott case that was overturned. And then we start talking about, okay, where are we right now? I just mixed this one up, that Stono Rebellion. That was just so that Unit 2 really talked about the multifaceted expressions of just agency and resistance that black people had in the face you know of this in the, the history of the black system of enslavement right so i just wanted to show you what happened when we wrote the room now those that were late this was like their due now okay this was their due now. So if you weren't here, guess what? You don't get the points. Ciao.